Hi, I'm Shen, Global Head of Product here at HCC Vive. We launched Vive XR Elite a few months ago, redesigning what an XR experience can be. Lightweight, while delivering power, versatility, and an awesome combination of VR and MR. The second people started using it, we were listening and learning to see what we can update to make the Vive XR Elite experience even better. We've been making subtle but important updates over the last few months, updating the general user experience, as well as specific improvements to things like hand tracking. We've also added onboarding tutorials to guide users on how to navigate the environment. Today, I'm going to go through what's coming up in our next big software update, Photo 4, available in early June, and also answer some Q&A from the community. User experience has had a number of tweaks, soon including the ability for you to download your available gifted apps with a single click. We've made further improvements to hand tracking and relocation tracking. Since launch, our hand tracking engine is now more reliable in a wider range of lighting. With better performance in low light, our next hand tracking update brings improvements to high brightness conditions and more robust tracking in environments with reflective surfaces. We also made improvements in our relocation behavior. It's what we call the ability for the headset to detect where it's booted up or comes out of standby based on the tracking map it's saved. Previously, if your environment changed a bit too much, like maybe you tidy up your desk so a bunch of these tracking points had moved, or the lighting had changed, the headset may not be able to relocate itself when it comes out and trigger a new room setup. This caused unnecessary annoyance for some of our users, so we've updated this now in our next update. From Photo 4, if your headset cannot relocate itself, instead of triggering a new room setup, it will ask you to keep looking around to try successfully relocate yourself or manually create a new room setup. I'm someone who has a desk full of stuff that constantly moves around. And from my own personal experience from the past week, this has been great. For the times my headset hasn't been able to relocate itself, the new behavior allowed it to successfully recognize the space after just two to three seconds. We also heard feedback from users who frequently use their headset in different spaces and asked for a way to put on the headset and immediately start using it. So in Photo 4, we're adding what we're calling instant mode. You can turn on instant mode inside the tracking settings and it'll switch the tracking into a state where it no longer requires room setup and it's just constantly tracking. This means you can quickly use Vive XR Elite in a new location without having to set up each environment. Perfect for when you want to quickly use it in perhaps different rooms in your house. Putting an XR Elite in instant mode will mean you find yourself in the center of a three meter diameter circular boundary. But do note, since this mode never creates a map, you may find experiences that require mixed reality setup of walls and desks to not be compatible. And there are several UI changes to make it more intuitive and easier to access different features and submenus. It's easier to see all your apps in library now and improvements to our store and interface in our previous update. We've added some new features in Vive XR Elite 2. Photo 4 will enable parental controls, so the time in the headset can be limited, and you can choose which content is available. You can set up all of this in the Vive Manager Companion app on iOS or on Android with a pin to protect it as well, which also supports casting from your headset, so you can keep an eye out on what is happening inside the headset. Vive Streaming has also had some updates, so be sure to check that out. It's quick and easy to stream thousands of existing PCVR content to your Vive XR Elite over USB-C or Wi-Fi, including Wi-Fi 6E wherever available. We've created a great guide on setting up Vive Streaming and how to get the best performance out of PCVR on our YouTube channel, video link in the description. We'll publish a full list of updates on our release notes page and Vive XR Elite users will receive a notification in the headset when Photo 4 is available next week. Once it lands, please let us know what you think. We always want to hear what you like and what we can improve. You'll find me on our Discord, which I'll pop a link below as well. And please drop by and share your experiences with Vive XR Elite. Now, I want to address some of the frequently asked questions from our community. First, can I use headphones with Vive XR Elite? It doesn't have a headphone jack. Yes, you can. The USB-C port on the battery cradle supports USB audio devices. You can also use a 3.5 millimeter adapter with a DAC to support traditional headphones. We also support Bluetooth audio, but you may notice latency depending on your Bluetooth headphones that you want to use. We really pushed the envelope of what form factor could be achieved with Vive XR Elite, and ultimately that meant we chose not to include a headphone jack, but rather invest in a great integrated audio system. You can check out the teardown I did for the XR Elite to see just how packed everything is inside. I can't seem to get a stable wireless PCVR experience. Is there a guide? Wireless streaming really depends on a lot of factors outside of our control. 
including wireless congestion in your environment, your router, and various settings as well. We have a good video guide on setting it up on the HTC Vive YouTube channel. But in short, try using a Wi-Fi analysis tool to check your wireless environment. Make sure your router is using a five gigahertz or six gigahertz channel that's unoccupied to reduce interference. You also want to make sure that you use an ethernet cable to wire up your PC to your router as that part will also affect the connection between your headset and router. Vive Streaming will automatically set a few settings um, that are automatic based on your network, but you can manually play around with it like bitrate and other settings to really optimize your experience. I got wireless working, but controllers in this specific app isn't working. There are two reasons why this isn't working on a small number of apps. One could be bindings. You can go into Steam VR settings, controllers, and manually assign bindings. Generally, the top community binding will work. Another reason could be the compatibility of the applications with Vive controllers. In these cases, you can go into Vive streaming settings and toggle compatibility mode. We are actively working with developers and Valve to improve the compatibility here, so hopefully you won't need to adjust anything in the future. How do I turn on pass-through? For example, to look at my phone. Simply double-click the system button on your headset or on the right controller, and it will turn on pass-through. This pass-through experience, we specifically disable depth corrections, so you can look at things like your phone or laptop screen without any depth correction distortion. I get some pressure on the forehead after prolonged use. Is there anything I can do? Yes, the design of Vive XR Elite was to remove the need for a top strap to help you know, not mess up people's hair and make it actually more accessible. However, we do include a top strap in the package which will help spread out the weight onto your head. You can find it in the sleeve with the headset USB cable or more recent purchases, you'll find it now pre-attached so you don't have to dig around. Can I use Vive XR Elite indefinitely if I plug it in? What about using it in glasses mode with external power? Yes, you can do that as well. You'll need to make sure the power source is able to supply enough power. We recommend 30 watts. You recommend 30 watts to keep an XR Elite running indefinitely while plugged in, but my lower wattage charger was fine. We recommend 30 watts to be on the safe side, as we found some sources like power banks can deliver well under the advertised wattage, depending on the current charge or temperature. And when paired with a USB cable that's really long, the power can drop well below what's needed to sustain an XR Elite while it's running. Also note, if an XR Elite doesn't get the power it's looking for, you'll find that the display will dim and performance may be reduced. How often is the headset updated? We have regular updates planned for Vive XR Elite and aiming to get them out on a monthly basis. We'll share more once we get those ready. Hey, I have some feedback or questions. How do I go about engaging with HTC? You can chat with us through our socials, but if you really want to get into the weeds, you can find CT on the Vive forums, or you can find us both personally on the XR Elite channel on our Discord server. Make sure you tag us. So either one of us or one of our team will follow up as soon as we can. And if you just want to have a chat about VR, we're also pretty keen on that as well. We really appreciate everyone who supported us from customers to developers. We have a lot of software features and improvements planned with new accessories like the self-tracking tracker and the iron face tracking accessory. We'll have more to share soon. Vive XR Elite is an ever evolving product. And we want to thank everyone who's joining us on this exciting journey.